Today's recipe is slowly cooked oven braised lamb shank, literally melts in your mouth. As oven does most of the cooking, it's simple and easy to follow. Hi, I'm Prasanna, a chef by profession, worked with some great chefs for past 16 years and learning the craft. Here in YouTube, I'm trying to share my experience, recipes and knowledge with you. In this channel, you can expect how a proper restaurant dish can be cooked at your convenience at home. Please join me as I'm excited to share my story with my family to you. Please support and join the journey. Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to cook some uh, braised lamb shank, slow cook. Go, to go with that, we're going to have some perfectly creamy mashed potato, perfectly done creamy mashed potatoes together. So for this, a simple recipe, you need a lamb shank. Here I have something about like 400 grams. We're going to add some extra spice to it and marinate it a bit for about half an hour. Then after that we're gonna pan sear them and braise them. Braising is basically the chef's term of cooking in a liquid for a slow temperature for a long time. So in the lamb shank is there the beautiful ones. I'm just add some salt, some pepper, some paprika. So this one gives some smoky flavor and some nice kick to it. I'm gonna uh, cook this one with the rosé wine. Usually they cook with the red wine. If you prefer non-alcoholic, please go ahead with a normal uh, chicken or beef stock that would be good some oregano so now it's done so let it sit for some time until we cut the vegetables for it some garlic just crush the garlic some onions just cut into big chunks remember you're gonna fry this for a long time so if you want your sauce to be more sweeter always add some extra sweet vegetables like carrots you can add extra carrots the celery and some leeks okay so we're pretty much done with what we needed so now I'm going to sear the lamb then later I'm gonna saute the vegetables the secret for braising perfectly is using a solid pan in my case I'm using a solid cast iron pan get it nice and hot and add a touch of olive oil add the lamb in and make sure you see it all around while the fat around the lamb starts rendering, it gives the dish a strong and rich flavor. Once it's seared, keep it aside. And now it's time for onion and carrots and garlic in. And don't worry on getting the color. You are basically not burning it. You are getting caramelizing it. Once it's browned all around, now it's time for deglazing it by adding the rosé. And now add rest of the herbs and make sure you get a proper caramelization happening there. Now the chicken stock is in and if you have a lamb stock with you it's much more better in flavor now bring it to boil and add a touch of a tomato paste to give a citrus taste i'm adding lemon and oranges to it which helps in giving a refreshing flavor to the dish now i'm adding a teaspoon of organic honey which will help in sweetness and caramelization now add the lamb in and make sure it's boiling before you tuck it in the oven which will help in sustaining the temperature throughout now cover it with the aluminium foil. Make sure all the sides are sealed tightly. Okay, so now the lamb chunk is cooking in the oven. It's gonna take around like two to three hours. Now it's already been uh, one and a half hour gone. So in that meantime, uh, we can prepare the mashed potato. So I've got the potatoes already. Just mash them in the masher. So together with this, I'm gonna add some cream and butter and some seasoning. So the mashed potato is here. Make sure when you make the mashed potato, always it should be warm and very, very, very dry. Some butter and the cream. So you just mix it well. So I have completely pass it to the seed and you always make sure you do this when the potato is warm so this is the texture you're going to get it will be even more shinier when you reheat when you add some more butter to it now the lamb is cooked perfectly with producing some rich and wonderful flavors it's extremely tender now remove the lamb and keep it separate now we're gonna work on the sauce sauce you can simply blend all ingredients to have a rusty look but in this case i'm going to strain the sauce and bring it to have a shine smoothie sauce 
So now it's the time for you to reheat the mashed potato. While reheating it, just try to add some bit more butter to have a silky texture. So now I'm gonna show you how to plate the lamb shank. Now place the silky mashed potato in the side of the plate. Carefully lift the lamb shank and place it on top of the mashed potato. Now gently pour the sauce in top of the lamb shank. Add an extra refreshing kick and adding some zest of lemon to it. Garnish it with thyme or any other herbs whatever is available. And there you have it, a properly cooked lamb shank with a restaurant style mashed potato. Very easy to follow, very few steps and few ingredients. Do it properly and with the right uh, amount of technique and the temperature and you can get the perfect lamp shine with my photo. And you have to see how soft it is. Yeah, here we go. Yum, yum, mom. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. It's literally melts in your mouth. Look at the man. Oh my goodness. Top man. We try. Like, share and comment our videos. For regular updates, please click the bell icon and join the journey by supporting us. Thank you for watching Kitchen Secrets with me Prasanna. See you until next time and enjoy cooking the Kitchen Secrets. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm still shooting. After looking at this, I want to eat it again. Amazing. Perfect.